up, what up, what up? Double M's, it's your boy, Keys. And it's your girl, Mandy. Ew, ew. And we back. With another video, video, video. Yeah. And this time we are doing Indian street food. It says curry up. And this is kind of like one of their little logos on there. I hope you guys can see that. Man, this thing is huge, man. This is a huge burrito, y'all. Very huge burrito. And um, we got this here in the Decatur area. And um, I have the chicken. They have a paneer or a chicken burrito. I have the chicken burrito. I have the chicken bikyani. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to open these up for y'all. Oh, man. These are huge. Should we do the blessing session first, then open it, or... Open. Let's go ahead and do the blessing session. You open. Yeah, let's do it right. <laughs> all right. Most loving and gracious Father, thank you for all our friends and loved ones coming in to join us. Add a blessing unto them and their loved ones. Add a blessing unto this food and the hands that prepared it. That it be nourishing. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Let's get on the business, y'all. This thing is huge and it's hot. They wrap it up really good, though. I'll tell you that. Got the little chicken uh, stick on there. Got your little sticker. They wrap it up a couple of times in foil. Yeah. Oh wow! I'm trying to get mine open, y'all. I'm trying to take my foil. So I want y'all to see how big this burrito is. Just at the head of the burrito. This is really big. Whew, huge. Huge, huge, huge. Yep. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I hope y'all can see that. There's a lot of glare going on. Yeah, they got mm. this thing looking right. Mm. I don't know. It this, tastes good too. This won't be the last time, y'all. Mm -hmm. And you can say this is good Indian. Good Indian food. Man, let me bring that back a little bit. Y'all gonna get that glass mm -hmm. from the aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. But this thing big, man. We do apologize. There we go. Let's mm -hmm. see. Let y'all get on. Uh, Can y'all see that in there? It's full of rice, chicken. You can taste that curry seasoning in there. Yeah, it's it looked flavorful. Let me let you taste a little bit of mine. Here. Very oh, good. Oh man. Very good. Very good, y'all. Right balance of curry, mm -hmm. a sweetness, a little, a little hint of spice, mm -hmm. not too much. Oh man, it's good. This on point. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. We've been wanting to try Indian food, y'all, for quite some time. And hubby found this place and sent me a sent it to me on Facebook Messenger and was like, we gotta try this. Mm. We you know we want to try a real traditional Indian restaurant, but some of them have been closed down in the areas that we've been. And we were waiting on a good recommendation for a place. I'm that glad we tried here first. That thing packed full of meat, rice. Mm -hmm. You literally could take your spoon oh. and just eat out of here. But y'all know I can't do all that bread, but this is so good. Woo. Look at that, y'all. It's a mountain burrito. Rice, beans, chicken. Good seasoning. And then we have some uh, sweet potato fries right here. Mm-hmm. To go with it. Uh, and I love the fact that they, they burrito has the right balance of beans and chicken. The, the presentation itself mm -hmm. is 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 awesome. Mm -hmm. So they got the waffle cut sweet potato fry. And they do deliver, y'all. It's called Curry Up. Curry Up Indian Street Food. Six minutes away from the house. Yeah. It's located on Church Street in Decatur. Very good. Mm. Very good place. And a very nice shopping center, too. Mm -hmm. Very nice shopping center. Mm. Yeah, I won't be throwing this away. Period. Well, I don't throw food away anyway, but mm. definitely will be holding on to this. Oh. <laughs> it's 
it's good, yo. <laughs> we're wondering, oh, what we want to eat, what we want to eat. I said, babe, remember that place you sent me a link to? I said, let's try that. He said, okay. <laughs> mm. He's always asking me, what you want to eat, baby? Now, what you want to eat? Oh, I'm asking you. <laughs> Now, you want me to tell us what to eat at? I know most of y'all, y'all say, oh, a burrito. And I do be doing that too, y'all, like she was saying. <laughs> we can't figure out who want to make the decision, on the, decision on the food, yeah. But y'all going to ask about the burrito. Oh, it's like Chipotle. Nothing, no, mm -mm. not Mexican at mm -mm. all. Mm -mm. Indian food. Think Indian food. And they wrap it up. In your a burrito. Your favorite dish, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And they wrap it up, just like Mandy said, in a burrito. Your rice, the spices, onions, peppers, potatoes. And it's huge. I'm talking about not the um, burrito wrap breaking up. Mm -mm. Whatever they did, this, this thing is, is cut together. Yeah, it is. Look at that, y'all. It's full of rice, meat, beans, flavor. I mean, they, they they did this right. They did this right. They hooked this up. Yeah. And look at yours. Oh my God, it's so full of meat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice ratio. Meat mm -hmm. to rice to potatoes and, and peppers and onion ratio. You ain't got to worry about, mm -mm. oh, you got a whole bunch of packed on rice and potatoes. Like when you go to Chipotle. End. I like Chipotle now. I ain't trying to throw no shade at them. But when you go to certain places and get a burrito, Sometimes it's very disappointing to know that they pack that, that burrito with all that rice mm. and then hardly give you no meat. And I don't feel like I should be paying for double meat when I ain't hardly getting no regular serving anyway. Mm. Why well, I gotta pay for extra when I ain't even getting the right proportion size for the burrito that you're giving me? So, you know, I really do appreciate this, um, this particular Indian food place for doing it right. Oh. Because they did it right on this. Shout out to them. Mm -hmm. Indian street food. Mm -hmm. Curry up now. Yeah. Curry up now. Mm. Very good place, y'all. Y'all looking for good eats? Try this out. We've been getting some... I'm sorry. Since we moved to this side, we have been eating some really good food places. I mean, we live around a whole bunch of nice restaurants, y'all. I mean, we can leave outside our home. And I'm talking about we literally can go down one street and there's a whole slew of places for us to eat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Go the other way. It's a whole slow place for us to stop and get something to eat. So I really do appreciate that about the area we're in for right now. It, you know, it's re it really good because you can you can find food, you know? Yeah, and again. Because before we could find food in the Alpharetta area like that. The address for this particular place is 1575 Church, Church Street. Street. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indicator, y'all. Mm-hmm. And I only say where it's at, Indicator, because <clears throat> let me just tell y'all about the GPS in Georgia. Okay. <laughs> Georgia has places and streets and addresses that are the same, but sometimes it may take you to Atlanta, the, the greater Atlanta area for that address, instead of, let's say the Marietta area. I was going to a particular clinic one morning to work and I put in the GPS where I was going because like I said, when I worked my PRN job, which is as needed, when I worked that particular gig, they send me different places. So I may be working in Woodstock one day, one day I may be in Marietta, one day I may be in Alpharetta, one day I may be somewhere else. And, it, and it's 35 to 45 minute rides to these places because they don't have any clinics in my area where I live. Now my full-time job is only 15, 20 minutes from the house. So that, that makes up for that time when I do that one day over there every now and then. Well, anyway, I put in the address to go to work and I always share my ETA with my husband so that he can see on his iPhone if I made it to my destination or how I'm getting to my destination because I like to do that. And in addition to texting him saying, hey, baby, I made it to work safely. Hope you have a wonderful day as well, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm sharing the ETA with him. They take me in the hood. I mean, I'm about to pull up to somebody's shotgun house and I'm like, what is going on? This ain't no clinic. <laughs> So I, I pulled back out the road. I'm getting frustrated. So I'm like, wow, why the GPS took me way over here? This is not the right address. Well, there is an address with the same address, but just a different area. One is for Atlanta. Marietta also has that same address. Mm. So then I had to go back in the GPS, put in Mar and click on the one that said Marietta. And then guess what? It took me to the right place. 
but of course I showed up a little bit late. It wasn't no big deal, but it was just like a little frustrating because I'm like, man, I got up particularly super early this morning just to make it to work on time and then this happens. But you know, that's why I say you have to be really careful with using the GPS and making sure that you put in the right city and area because you could put in the address and it'll take you somewhere totally different here in Georgia that you were not expecting to go. So that's something you really need to know. That's you. too good. I got to save some, y'all, because <laughs> I, I want I want some something to drink. I did have a gold golden ginger drink from Starbucks, yeah. but I, I need some. You get a bite of that. You just want a little bite. You gonna love this. Taste all that together. Mm -hmm. I ain't that good. I ain't good with really onions good. and everything. In it. I ain't even know it had onions in it, y'all. Next it's one delicious. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the one she got. Yeah. <laughs> now mine is good. I yeah, wanna just good. say I wanna save some. I don't wanna be miserable fool y'all right I want, I, I want something to drink because y'all honestly honest to god y'all we eat about one time a day and sometimes we so tired from working and just from praying and meditating and just trying to stay focused we don't even think about eating like that we really don't sometimes we might get something sweet and say hey baby let's have a donut and a cup of coffee and that may be the only thing we have for the day you know honestly we just we just don't eat a whole lot mm -hmm. and so you know we 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 went and got this today Ooh. this is our first meal of the day and it's almost what four o'clock oh, it's almost four o'clock and so you know yeah we um man that was good yeah. that is it's, yeah. it's um out of majority of our videos y'all mm -hmm. i really um recommend that place. particular mm -hmm. place it's really good if you don't want a dinner like your average dinner plate like if you don't want all like the that. you don't want all the paneer the mimosas you know like you don't want all like the garlic no you don't want all the other stuff that come like you don't want a feast of the indian food yeah. but you just want to try, try something, something. The burrito will be a good a good first try oh, for somebody who God. has never ate Indian food because we've never eaten Indian food before. So for this to be well, we have tried Indian food before in, in Orlando. Yes, we did. We did. We did. We was gonna do a video on it, and then we didn't, we yeah. we decided not to even upload the video because the food was just that horrible. We didn't like it. So um, we didn't even upload that video. That was years. That was like over a year or something ago. Yeah. But about two years ago, we had did a video on Indian food, and I promise you, we didn't like like the way it tasted in Orlando. So we didn't even upload the video. But this, for somebody mm. trying it for the first time, I'm telling you, this will be a very good start to get a good burrito. I'm going to save mine because y'all know I can't eat it all. But this will be a very, very good um, starter right here. So, after your long day of protesting, mm. and you're hungry, and you want something <laughs> your to Your long day of protesting. <laughs> Indian street food. You hear my husband, child. Curry up now. Do you hear this, man? That'll be your best bet. <laughs> Run over there. A long day of protesting, really, hey. babe. That's what that's what you come up with. Come on. <laughs> I heard that. Gather, gather up a couple of friends. Y'all run over there. Mm. Get you a burrito, some sweet potato okay. fries. And remember to stay hydrated. Get you oh, some yeah. old agua. You can get you some water. Definitely get you some water, y'all. Definitely stay um, hydrated out here. Definitely stay masked up. Continue to keep washing your hands. Continue to keep wiping down your area. The one thing I wipe down the most in, in, the, in the house is I wipe down the um, bathroom doorknob. I wipe down the um, bedroom doorknobs. I wipe down the, the front door doorknobs. And I definitely continuously wipe down the microwave handles. And I wipe down the refrigerator handles. And I clean the refrigerator out with bleach. And I throw away anything we're not eating or utilizing. I don't hold on to anything because you don't want nothing making you sick. You want to keep fresh produce, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits. You know, only buy a little bit of that stuff at a time. Don't be buying too much of that stuff. I buy this a little bit. Like we're going to the store, we get maybe three bananas, a whole banana at the most. We have a banana in the morning with some coffee, or we're gonna have a banana in the morning with some water, whatever it is. We get one. Because I'm be not water. A, yeah, because I'm not a big breakfast um eater. I like to have a little cup of coffee. No, no that's me. And coffee, boy, that thing. Yeah, miss you. <laughs> well, it don't mess me up, but I'm just saying I don't even I don't even care to have any banana or any type of breakfast. I just rather coffee in the morning to be honest. And sometimes I can't even finish a whole cup of coffee. So my mm. thing is I just mm -mm. Yeah, don't do me no good, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Don't do me no good. Y'all. If you want a burrito, yeah, they're gonna be the place to go. They are going to be the place to go. I would definitely say that. I enjoy this burrito. I'm definitely gonna eat some more of it mm. um, later on. I got. I had. I had to, I had to but, save it. But it's definitely my one meal of the day. 
It mm. definitely is. And I probably won't even eat all of it. He'll eat the rest of my burrito of what I don't eat. He'll stuff it down. I already know he will. Because if he if he really likes something, he ain't oh, going to let me waste it. He ain't going to throw that away. Don't yeah. do that. He'll be on me. Don't do that. Got, I ain't even got to say don't throw it away because it's going to get eight. Yeah, he going to get that, that right from now. me. He going he gonna to be watching me on that one. <laughs> he going to be watching me nah, on that one. I am going to say mm, it it can be a little pricey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a it's it's a excuse me, Indian mm -hmm. uh cuisine How much you pay for this? Okay, well you know what? To Oops. get to get the um burritos, the burritos were ten dollars each, y'all. So that's twenty bucks right there for two burritos. And then to get the sweet potato fries, um and they're considered vegan fries. Yeah. Uh they were five dollars. And so mm. when you add all that up with taxes and everything it came out to um, $33.75. Bu $30, yeah, $30.75. And then we gave a tip. So $30.75. So it's really not bad, y'all. To be honest, it's really not pricey. Because I'm talking about some of us spend that on pizzas. You spend that mess. Um, you know, you can spend that easily at a wing uh, stop. Uh, Indian cuisine. Depending on how much place. food you buy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's. Mm -hmm. and, when I say pricey, if and you, you talking about something different, and different, and, yeah, you talking about something different like and you're having a different experience too. Because mm -hmm. burgers and stuff, you eat that all the time. Yeah. But this is Indian food. This is a different experience for you if you've never eaten Indian food before. Like for me, this is really good. My Spe first good especially, experience. With this. Especially if you want to do it like that in a Amer Americanized Wait. version. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you really want a a, a burrito or something, but you not you don't want um, the other places. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be your way to go. Right oh yeah, there. big time. And if you like, I said, if it's the first time for you trying Indian food and you've never, you you thought about it, but you don't really know where to go. Like for me, when we moved, when we lived in Alpharetta area, it was like, oh man, like where do we try Indian food? And like some places were closed down, some places had bad reviews. You know, we didn't really know what to believe, what to trust. Okay, should we go here? Should we go there? And then it was like, we don't really want to go to a buffet in the restaurant because we don't really want no buffet style oh, food. We don't want that. Not in these pandemics. Yeah, and no, so it was like, we don't really want to try that. So to, for hubby to find this place and they said, babe, let's let's do this. I'm like, man, this, this sounds like a place. That I'm like, and I was still even a little skeptical at first because I'm like, it's Indian food. I never really ate it. They like it the first went, time. <clears throat> excuse me. Y'all really wouldn't even think why. I seen the advertisement at on Facebook, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Facebook, cause you messaged it to me, <laughs> and like I was saying, um, yeah, I was just like, yeah, I don't even know, cause like I said, we tried it in Orlando, but it just was not good. We was gonna do a video on it. We just was like, uh, uh, this ain't even worth posting, cause we didn't even like the food. We didn't want to eat it. Advertisement for this place was a lot um, better. Was was awesome. Mm -hmm. That's what made you wanna um get the food. Now when you go mm -hmm. to the the website they got it displayed out just like how you would see it on the menu and it makes and it how so they easy. deliver it to you yeah. too because everything we saw on the on the on website the burritos came out looking just like that yeah yeah so mm -hmm. that's that's another a plus for yep. them mm -hmm. the food look just like the picture just like the picture just like the and the pictures are full clarity you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying very so. nice website with a lot of information about their food and what they're putting in the food and what ingredients they're using. And if you want chicken, if you want paneer, if you want um, the mimosas, you know, and we'll probably go back there and try something different the next time, you know, but this was really nice. The place was very clean, very clean atmosphere. You know, they doing social distancing. You can come inside and order your food and they bring it. Right. We, went, we sat back outside, waited for the food to be done. She brought it right back out to us. So it was, it was a really nice experience, y'all. So I enjoyed that today as our only first and only meal and when we say it's our first and only meal we ain't lying to y'all we being for real we do not yeah, eat around the clock um, we can't do that we get up late anyway yeah during the weekends and mm -hmm. on, on sunday we get up a little late. later in the morning late. yeah we do mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. you get up late in the morning we start our eating and all that stuff late in the evening y'all we don't get up and start eating right away we get up we brush our teeth get our day going shower things like that but as far as eating, mm, mm, mm. it take us a while because we have to think about what do we want to eat, you know? And sometimes we want to cook at home and then sometimes we don't. Yeah, sometimes you just don't be in that mood to be in that kitchen. Mm, mm. They no don't be the mood way. at all. No, how? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> he ready to get into juicing again. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I really want to do like a 
a five day mm -hmm. or and a minimum of three day. Yeah, just nothing but juicing. So that's gonna be good. Yeah, you guys, we just wanted to share this with you. We hope you guys, um, if you are in the area that you try the um curry up now, Indian street food. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna um put their logo up here so you guys know exactly. And I'm gonna put their address in the description box in case anybody in the area wants to try it out. It's a really good place to have lunch. Yep. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember, stay safe. Y'all remember, and also remember, get this video a thumbs up. Bop, 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 bop. Mm -hmm. You already know, jump down there in the comments. I shouldn't even have to say it. You know what to do. Hit that bell. Bing! Because we the re regional Bing <laughs> Pingles over here. You know what I'm saying? So you can get all the all all the content all the videos that we have in store for you if you are a new subscriber welcome to the devil and kingdom boy and don't forget your blessing session shirts the link is in the description box below t-shirt launch pad got you covered so let us know that you guys ordered and if you order a shirt we'll put you on our community board we'll shout you out on facebook and everything we might even put you on our tiktok hey and don't forget Mandy's Moments. Yes, yes. Check out that podcast. And check out the group on Facebook, All Love, A period, L period, L, and the word love. Join the group. It's a private group where I'm motivating, encouraging, and inspiring you every day with an encouraging word from me. So make sure you guys join the group. Hey, hey. we'll check y'all out next time. It's your bar keys. It's your girl. And Mandy. Mandy. <laughs> we out. Love you guys.